Welcome Hadzeb Life Channel. This is a channel that shows you the real daily life of the Hadzeb tribe. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. The daily activities of the Hadzeb are gender-based. For instance, males are responsible for hunting with bows and arrows. They use metal arrowheads coated with poison for hunting large mammals such as buffalo and eland. They use non-poison coated arrowheads for hunting small mammals such as antelopes, gazelle, and baboons. They also use arrows made entirely of wood to hunt birds such as guinea fowls, francolins, and pigeons. Hadzeb men go on two types of hunts, short and long distance. Short distance hunts usually occur in the morning and take place within about 5 kilometers, 3 miles, of home. On long distance hunts, the men walk for 3 to 4 days to find big game animals to hunt. When a large animal is killed on a long distance hunt, the animal is smoke dried before it is carried back to the settlement. Women are usually responsible for collecting wild fruits, roots and tubers for food. The Hadzeb also depends on herbs for medicine. Hadzeb create fire without the use of matches or lighters. Instead, they rub two pieces of wood together with enough friction to generate enough heat to ignite dry grass, pictured below. The students had a chance to practice this technique during their visit. The students also had the opportunity to use bows and arrows, help dig roots, and participate in a traditional dance. Every day, tourists from all over the world flock to Lake Ayasi and pay to see the Hadze. With no religious beliefs, the Hadza aren't bound by any particular rituals or any passage of time, such as hours, days, weeks or years. Therefore, they don't celebrate life milestones, such as anniversaries or birthdays. Hadza people speak Hadzain, a language that involves the production of clicking and popping sounds. It is believed that this unique language relates to that of the Bushmen in the Kolahari Desert, despite not having any connection among the two tribes as proved by various scientific approaches including the DNA tests. This sounds vary from one to another since they are articulated by smacking the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Hadzeb men and women dance and sing after a successful morning hunt. Historically, the Hadzeb lived nomadically as they searched for wild animals, fruits, and roots. Since cultural tourism started, the Hadzeb have developed semi-permanent settlements to make it easier for tourists to visit them. These semi-permanent settlements have resulted in repeated hunting and gathering of natural resources in the same area which has led to the depletion of these resources. Ecologically, it causes environmental degradation in these areas. 
This, combined with the recent encroachment of their area by pastoralists and farmers from other tribes, threatens their well-being and survival. Ili kama mnyama kitokea anaweza kumwataki vizuri. Yeah. 